All right, so we got some news coming out about Dragon Ball Super, courtesy of otakamu.jp and courtesy of Geekdom 101 as well. I, I kind of saw the image on Twitter before watching his video, but you know, I wanted to talk about it a little bit in a video format. So I'm going to link his video down below because he goes a little bit more in depth. I mean, with the relative information that we actually do have, we don't have much about it, but I did want to kind of talk about this image specifically. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't been new. I generally don't cover news. I'm not a news channel but I do want to do it in this scenario because we got some crazy stuff going on so right off the bat you know this is going to be the new arc February 5th of next year of course we see the arc begins we've got everybody walking in a promotional poster here now I do want to say that Piccolo's cut off so the characters that are missing are probably on like the side of Piccolo or maybe on the side of Boo over there I don't know because clearly you don't see Goten or Trunks you know people are speculating maybe this is post like a time skip or something like that I don't really know but I do feel like there's probably more characters than we see here but let's talk about what we do see we've got boo we've got krillin we've got 18 in a freaking jumpsuit that's dope she looks really really good in a jumpsuit we have what appears to be android 17 um android 17 has always looked a bit like a girl because obviously him and uh Android 18 are, are very identical. Now, that being said, this honestly, I, I'm going to go with Geekdom's word for it. That doesn't look like 17 to me other than the hair. It just honestly, the stature and the body, everything looks like a chick, but it's possible, right? You know, so we're going to call that 17 for now. It's it's conveniently blurred out. <laughs> conveniently, the only one that's blurred out. There's probably like a flap in some sort of image or something like that. That's why he's blurred out. But there's Goku, of course, Vegeta, Gohan. Roshi and uh, Ten Shinhan, both in their Resurrection F outfits, and Piccolo, who's cut off. Now, for starters, it's awesome to see Boo chilling with the squad there because obviously Boo is like a main cast member that they don't really utilize properly. Uh, I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a video that I'm going to drop later on today, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to talk about the Universe 6 tournament arc and missed opportunities that they had and just kind of reminiscing on that arc, you know, with the upcoming information for like this next quote unquote arc. It seems like since this is starting so soon, that hit arc is not really like an arc it's more of like a shorter term thing so you know i wanted to kind of still drop that video to commemorate those characters but we've got krillin again nothing new there he shaved the head nothing new like i said she looks great in the jumpsuit and the sneakers i don't really have much of a comment other than to say this looks like a chick i mean if you look at the whole leg thing he looks really slender but it's possible he wasn't really a big guy to begin with goku regular yeah, regular gi although i will say that i kind of prefer goku and his uh, Resurrection F outfit. I do think that looks a little better on him, especially when he goes into his blue form. But I want to know you guys' opinion on that. As far as as far as Vegeta goes, I have always said that I feel like he looks better in in Resurrection F stuff because the blue on blue when he goes blue uh, hair form, Super Saiyan blue, um, you know, with the blue outfit, it just looks weird to me with the blue aura. And then Gohan is back. Now I want to say this, right? Let's zoom in. Gohan is interesting because. Everybody says that he's mystic and, you know, slash ultimate whenever he's at the end of the, the arc with Trunks leaving and stuff like that. I, you know, I never really said that just because a strand of hair was down. It doesn't really, in my opinion, signify that he is. However, there is evidence to support that he would be that if his hair basically has a strand down because this actually is his normal character design now where his hair just kind of waves up like that. That's his no normal design now, just his regular attire. Like he was like that in the Battle of Gods arc in Super. I don't believe he wasn't like that in the, sh in the movie, but uh, in the Battle of Gods arc in Super, he had that style and they kind of stuck with that. The only time he he's done anything different was in the resurrection f stuff in the super anime and in the movie for the resurrection f arc but you know this is his general you know thing so maybe he's just suppressed right now he's not powered up into his ultimate form but nonetheless just to see him in goku's gi again or what is akin to goku's gi because it doesn't have you know the same symbols and stuff like that um it's, it's nice, right? Like, it's cool to see him in a regular gi again because, you know, hearkening back to Resurrection F, he said he couldn't even find his gi, so there's that. Um, so I, I do want to know you guys' thoughts. Do you think that Gohan has been training? And maybe this is a way to segue into Gohan potentially having more relevance in the arc. Let's look at Roshi here. Nothing crazy there. He's probably not going to do too much. And Tension on is there too. So I love it. I love it. I love it. I, just a really quick video once again. I'm going to link Geekdom's video down below, which is another quick video, but he does talk a little bit more about the specifics of this. Uh, this is called the Universal Survival Arc, I believe is what Herms is calling it. Or um, Let me actually go check and check because uh, I was just on his Twitter. Shout out to Herms98 as well. Link is in the description. Go follow the guy. Awesome guy. Uh, where is it at? He just kind of, it was just here. I just saw it. Oh, Universe Survival Arc right there. 
So February 5th. Sounds like the multiverse tournament to me, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. That would be awesome if it is the multiversal tournament, and I did kind of speculate that Gohan would probably partake in that. I mean, I think everybody kind of did, but really the real wild card here is what appears to be 17, because 17 hasn't really made an appearance in the show in such a long time. Now, we do know how he's lived his life in, you know, in accordance to uh, uh, Toriyama interviews and stuff like that. What I'm interested to see it is whether or not, if this is 17, of course, if they'll continue that and say he's lived peacefully and all that stuff. <laughs> so I, I do want to know if they'll continue that because sometimes Toriyama's interviews don't necessarily correlate with what we see in the show sometimes. So anyways, enough talking. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to the channel if you happen to be new. And I will catch you guys later on today with what I said was the Resurrection, no, not Resurrection F, excuse me, the um, Universal Tournament arc, the Shampa Tournament arc. Uh, breakdown of that just a little bit of discussion on that and the utilization of characters and missed opportunities and stuff like that once again just to reminisce on that arc because it's been a while but i hope you guys enjoyed catch you later peace